Hey everyone, Caspiration here, raw, bare, and uncut. So today, I think we need to begin talking about um, basically my life's journey and how I came to this point. A lot of people that meet me nowadays in this uh, new version that I've become, um, usually when I tell them and share with them that I wasn't always this positive, I wasn't always this good vibes, I wasn't always this happy-go-lucky person. And they kind of get shocked and they get surprised. They're like, wow, Cassie, I could never imagine you being violent, angry, and just full of negativity. Uh, basically because I know what that is and I know what it used to be like I know what I was before so I don't ever want to go back to it especially because grass is greener on the other side I've become this positive person because I've really been developing and improving myself and it's not something that happened overnight um, it was a process um, not exactly a long process for most people I think uh, maybe four years or something would be long for most but then for people that have been doing this constantly it's it's a it's a process that needs to be you know taken about in and out of it but when you have this focus attention and when you know that you actually need to change something in your life um, it's never ending and I have been becoming more positive even after a year of reprogramming my subconscious and just knowing that I needed to change something and transform but everything just sort of boom came about last year and it like came to this one big bang conclusion and I just woke up so um, I will make this video about probably the origin of it all and how I started uh, really what happened was a few years ago you could say maybe 2014 I came to a point in my life where all this pent-up energy and all this pent-up emotions and just being in an environment when I was playing rugby and all these contact sports and the people that were in my tribe you could say at the time um, also had that same lower frequency vibration let's just leave it at that and I will share with you guys along the way what those are there's certain levels of vibration and frequency and everything and, um, lots of angst lots of anger and it's not a bad thing necessarily um, when you start studying about energy and learning more about the laws of the universe uh, everything is neutral um, you can't say that hate is bad I know that's like a kind of a hard pill to swallow of truth but it's really just a level of energy and you can't say that um, the pain is also bad because that's one in the same it's just people need to start going up in levels just to get to a higher point in the energy scale so which is really just emotions and I'm saying this because these are lessons and I was in that point and stage in my life because I needed to learn those lessons. I needed to learn what it was to feel pain, what it was to give pain to someone, what it was to make someone feel pain. And it wasn't just physical because I played rugby and I was like the best tackler on the national team here in the Philippines. And I made it hurt. And I would injure people even sometimes, but it was all part of the game. It was all part of the rules. And you weren't playing rugby if you didn't do that. 
um, your coach tells you to smash someone, you smash someone. You know, um, and it's understood. Your opponent knows that they're gonna be smashed, and you're gonna get smashed in, you know, in hindsight as well, and, and the other side of it. It's it's a give and take thing. But I think before that, I used rugby as well to sort of transfer all of that pent up pain and and anger in me, and I used it to transfer it physically to other people on the field that of which that i realize now when i started reprogramming and meditating and just journaling i journal now yes it helps me um realize more things and just clear things out of my head so yeah that it just became me and the thing that i couldn't handle that started just overflowing into other compartments and areas of my life and other cups of my life and boxes of my life is that I didn't know how to just keep rugby in that one compartment, that one box and just keep it there, you know, like just stay there, you know, just keep your anger on the field no it just started just overflowing out like the spring of just hate and pain and everything and you know how when you pour a glass of you know glasses of champagne and wine that's like a pyramid you pour at the top and it just started overflowing into other compartments in my life and I was like snapping back at my family, my friends, always angry all the time uh, my partner in the relationship before who he was also a volcano and you know even at myself I was just angry all the time and snapping back at my own teammates um, for the fact before that I felt like I was doing that to help them improve because I was trying to help toughen them up and it was like tough love and it just consumed me so much and it came to a point where I had enough and I had my like rock bottom moment and it was all intertangled and everything and I knew I just needed to get out of that environment because you cannot heal in the same place where you got sick so there's so much pain, you know, getting cyber bullied by someone from that community, the rugby community, and who was very close to the person that I was in a relationship with at the time as well. And I just couldn't understand how they could be so close. And my partner at the time was, wasn't someone who was siding with either one of us. Anyways, case in point, um, I had to get out of it. I had to get out of the relationship and get out of that uh, environment. I even had to like, it, it felt like a double whammy because I like broke up with my ex and broke up with rugby at the same time. They were like both my loves at that moment in my life. And I had invested so much time and energy into like developing both of those relationships and and I identified with both of them like the relationship um, and rugby because I'm an athlete and for me that's who I was I was you know a national athlete and I identified with that with pride representing the country going to different places but I didn't know that because of my ego and wanting to accomplish all those things like putting those trophies those medals those accomplishments under my belt at such a low level of energy it was just consuming me and I just like I said a while ago it just became so negative negative. and when I woke up snap like that I knew and I was like how did I come to this point why did this happen? And because I already came across the secret and the law of attraction before about, um, you could say, uh, six years earlier, 
I realize I'm not a victim. These things that happen, these occurrences, these events, I attracted them. And that was the first step. When you realize that you're not a victim, it's not the world that did things to you, the universe, God like gave you these things. No, you take it onto yourself. You attracted it, I attracted it. I was like, that means I've been on this frequency that just attracted all these like negative things and all this like, ah, oh, I just needed to cleanse myself from it. So there began the journey of just letting go and reprogramming. I had to go back to watching The Secret and listing down things and it's usually what I recommend to people who approach me and they're like, uh, Cassie, how do you stay so positive? And, and even random things such as, Cassie, how do you lose weight? And how do you work out? How do you get abs? I always tell them. I don't share with them what I eat first or the workouts yet. Anything else, the first thing I recommend to them is that they need to reset and reprogram their, their, their mindset their subconscious so um, first things first for you guys you know watch the secret by Rhonda Byron download it try to find it online if you can highly recommend it and list down in the comments below share with me uh, I do want to know um, three things that you felt struck a chord in your heart and you felt most relatable to that can help you in your journey along uh, reprogramming yourself and becoming the best version of yourself so that's it shared with you guys um, a little bit of my past uh, we'll talk more about it uh, tomorrow and the days to come how I came to this point now that I'm sharing energy um, I'm a student master of the laws of the universe I like saying that so I'm in law school but not the laws of man, the laws of the universe. So yes, Caspiration out, Caspiration vibration. Subscribe to the channel and peace, love, harmony. I send out to you guys, always coming from the heart and coming from the soul. So yeah, namaskar. <laughs>